What's going on, horror fans? Welcome back to another episode of Slash and Cast. My name is Riley. That is Nick. Today we got uh, quite a few exciting things to talk about. Before we jump into that, though, just a friendly reminder that we do indeed have a membership program here on YouTube, where for as low as $2 a month, you can directly support the channel and get some cool perks along the way, including things like your name in the credits. We have a lot of movie nights going on this month, including yes. one this Saturday with Hocus Pocus and Beetlejuice. That's going to be a fun time. All that's exclusively for members. So if you haven't already, consider it. Check out the join button below or the link at the top of the description. Other than that, all links you need, including Twitter, Facebook, Discord, Reddit, things like that, merchandise, whatever. All that's in the description as well. Now, with that out of the way, let's move on to our topics of the day. Kicking things off with Hearts of Darkness, the definitive Jason Goes to Hell documentary. Um, long story short, with this Hearts of Darkness documentary, which we did a, an interview with Adam Marcus where he talks a little bit about what they're going into, it's basically just a story of what really happened in the making of Jason Goes to Hell. Yeah. Uh, by far the most controversial uh, entry into the Friday the 13th franchise. Uh, so they just kind of want to talk about how it got there. And we've already heard and kind of dug up a little bit of the drama that involved Sean Cunningham in that mix and getting that damn mask off of him and things like that. <laughs> uh, so the documentary will dive into that really, really deeply. But it's currently fundraising on Indiegogo to uh, wrap things up here. So... Heading over to their Indiegogo campaign, uh, they're ra- looking to raise $50,000 before Halloween to get the doc made and released, uh, so if you're interested, go check it out, link in the description below. It's cool, we're definitely going to back it, yeah. and um, even if you if you hate or love Jason Gives the Hell, there's a very unique and interesting story behind that film. Definitely. That I, uh, yeah, I think we definitely want to see. There's some cool cool rewards too as well, like you, you could uh, you can get, you can get the, like a whole bust yeah which might have sold by now i'm not sure yeah, but. i don't know and and adam marcus is just such a cool guy yeah one of the coolest indiegogo videos by the way i think i've ever seen yes like he nailed yes it. he killed it so uh, yeah go check out that out if that he'll, if i didn't sell you on it he probably will so go check out the indiegogo and the indiegogo video uh link in the description below next topic of the day uh, another one that's bringing up a lot of questions Halloween Kills, a lot of stuff has happened with Halloween Kills lately, including some new casting news like Nancy Stevens coming on board, um, just things like that, and things we've seen in the past where there was a casting call that was leading to things from the 70s, as then there might be flashbacks to the 70s, mm-hmm. and now some behind-the-scenes photos have been revealed of what appears to be a flashback scene, so there's a couple of them. First, you have the picture with Michael with the mask on. Uh, this mask is a very clean version of the mask. It looks like the original. It looks like a rehaul of the original mask, uh, which, by the way, I'm extremely excited for to yes. see it in general. Yes. Uh, just back to the the OG world of Michael. Um, but also, there's a picture where his mask is off, and we see a kid in a red jacket mm-hmm. who may look uh, a lot like Lonnie. Lonnie. Uh, on uh, kind of like falling off, seeing Michael, and then falling to the ground. Uh, so, one thing. I hope. Why would it be Lonnie? Like, what are they going to do with the flashback? We he's not going to die there, obviously, because we know Lonnie's alive in Halloween 2018. Um, as you know, he's he's mentioned. Adult Lonnie is mentioned yes. in Halloween 2018. Um, and the yes. mask being off, could they just be in between takes? Uh, yeah, they could just be in between takes. You could take the mask off to to get a breather. But there's a couple of things that are interesting to me about it. Uh, one, the fact that like cameras are clearly rolling. They have their sound guy mm-hmm. holding the mic. They're get they're they're doing something. They could just be doing rehearsal or um since it's all angled at Lonnie, it doesn't matter if he has his mask on, but most horror directors would never do that. Like right. like you want especially as a child actor, <laughs> you, you want, want a real them, reaction. Yeah, you want them to react to something legitimately. Uh so have, having the mask off doesn't make sense. Clearly a younger person playing Michael, why wouldn't it just be James U. Courtney? Maybe because like uh James U. Courtney is a little bit like thicker. He's a little bit of a thicker guy than Nick Castle was back in 78. Maybe. So maybe that's why. Um, but if not, it could just be a stunt double. But why? What ha- What is happening in that scene where they need a double? And also, that dude's hair is really nice. Yes. It doesn't look like he's been taking the mask on and off and on and off. Yeah, right? It's like nice slint over hair, looking fresh. Uh, I don't know. I don't, but if they do show his face, why? Why is it needed? Why would we want to see that? Like what? Why? What's the point in having his mask off in that scene at all? Yeah. So I, I hope that's a step they don't take because it just makes me nervous thinking about the fact they might do that and how wrong that could be. I think they showed too much of James E. Courtney in the bathroom scene in 2018. I agree. I think you're already playing with fire there, and they've still barely shown 
at all in that scene. Yes. I don't know. I'm interested. Also, what causes a flashback with Lonnie? Is this like how he got arrested? Is this when Michael got arrested? Are they going to show us that? Because we know at the end of Halloween oh. now, 2018 rewrites that a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he confronted Lonnie, and as he was about to, maybe he was about to kill Lonnie yeah. or something, and then he got taken down as he was on the run. Uh, it doesn't really get explained all yeah. that well, so we could we could do that. That'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just I'm curious where they're going for it. I'm excited where the first trailer takes us. And how many flashbacks? Is this like going to be like the only flashback, or is there going to be a, a handful of them? I don't know, because they, they did a casting call for cars. Yeah, cars and people that look a, like they're from the 70s. A lot of cars. Like, you don't want to. If it was just a kid, like, why would it matter? Right. They asked for a lot of cars, so, like, that makes it seem like it's more... Well, they could just be panning the streets, a bunch of different streets, empty streets. Right. But, whatever. No, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Halloween Kills set to be released still on October 16th of 2020. Imagine we won't get a trailer probably till mid-summer of 2020. So we'll see. I'm excited, though. Yeah. All right. Next in our horror news of the day, Evil Dead installment, brand new one on the way, apparently. Take this take this with a grain of salt here. Uh, so Sam Raimi was speaking with fans at the New York Comic Con while promoting his upcoming reboot of The Grudge. I uh, was asked about the current status of the Evil Dead series. And he literally was just quoted saying, there's more Evil Dead coming. He didn't give any specific plot details whatsoever, uh, but he did say that Bruce Campbell is going to be producing the next installment, but he won't be acting in it because he said he's tired of throwing blood. He's tired of having Sam throw blood on him. He also revealed that he wants the project to be di- directed by somebody new. So that's interesting. Okay. Uh, where do you... So, like, they, he gave nothing, right? So... We already know that the Evil Dead remake is linked to the same universe as Evil Dead, the original Evil Dead, because of Bruce being at the end and the after credits. Yes. So, like, do you make a sequel to that, and is that the next installment they're referring to? Or is it a new reboot? It kind of sucks that Bruce Campbell can't play Ash anymore, though. Or is it, the Ash character going to be gone completely? Again, if it's a reboot, you could technically have Ash. But, but you can't replace Ash. Yeah, it would be, it'd be like impossible. Do right. you even try? Th- there was a huge thread going on on Twitter over the last week about the Evil Dead remake and yep. how it it is warranting and deserving of a sequel before yeah. even Sam Raimi said anything and this news came out. Um, which I mean, I could appreciate. Cool. Yep. Um, yeah, maybe you do just try to pick up after the remake. I'm I'm for it. Yeah, yeah. I think it's fine. You you have a a lot to work with there, so might as well run with it. And then like, w- would Bruce be willing to do a cameo? I think so. Even if he's just like an old old man that is willing to give advice to someone that accidentally read and opened the Necronomicon. Thing is, though, I don't know if he would be willing to do that because that's not how he wants people to think of Ash. You know, like yeah, that'd be cool, but you want to see Ash being a badass. He could still do it. He could still do it. Know. You just got to make his stunts very easy. All right? Just can't have him do anything too crazy. I mean, you even look at the last, even season two and three of Ash vs. Evil Dead, it was, wasn't too harsh on him. Yeah, I mean. It proved, I mean, everyone's got to slow down with age, you know? And there's yeah. got to be some, I think, I think there needs to be some sort of like passing of the torch with Bruce. Uh, and how they do it, I don't know. But I, I would like to see that happen. Yeah, either way, Evil Dead is warranted for for something new. I hope so. And I'm glad that Bruce in some way, one way or another, is, is involved. Right. And there were a couple people asking questions like, this is separate from the video game that Bruce has been talking about yeah. uh, for this last year. Yeah. Excited for that as well, though. Yes, definitely. And I'm sure he's willing to do the voice for all that stuff. That's what he said in the past. Yeah. He seems excited. All right, moving on to our next and last topic of the day. The Walking Dead just, for some reason, will never die. (laughs) Walking Dead Season 11 has officially been confirmed, which is interesting because Season 10 hasn't even fucking premiered yet. Season 10 premieres tonight. Yes. So, but Season 11's already been confirmed. So, apparently, they're expecting a big season this year. Ratings are down, like, tremendously for The Walking Dead. But it remains one of the most popular shows on cable, which... Not saying much all, really anymore. Cable's a, a bit of a dying field. But it, it's it's making enough money apparently where they're still willing to keep beating that cash cow. 
And uh, yeah, see, I have not. I'm not even remotely caught. I'm probably like three seasons behind in terms of The Walking Dead. But uh, people, I don't know. People seem just as frustrated as I am. Yeah. Like those that are watching it, uh, I do know. I don't know. This may be a spoiler, so just a heads up here. But like Laura Cohen. Uh, Lauren Cohen, who plays Maggie, I know at some point at the end of season nine, I think uh, she leaves the show. And whether she's written out or dies, I don't know. I don't care. But I do know she left because she had a new show, which was Whiskey uh, Cavalier, which failed, by the way, like one season and got fully canceled. And now she's back, apparently returning in season 11. So the, like Walking Dead fans may go a whole season without Lauren Cohen, but she's coming back at some point somehow in season 11. Which, why would they say that? <laughs> why would they already confirm that? I don't know. Yeah. But apparently she's coming back, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of it has to do with her show failing so bad, with that new show failing. You gotta have a job. So she's willing to come back. Yeah. It's weird. We're getting towards the end of a, a big television era. I mean, Game of Thrones is over. Walking yeah. Dead is winding down. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, but Walking Dead, like, even... Like, there's still the three movies planned. Right. Which Andrew Lincoln is going to be a part of. Right. The Walking Dead is just not going to die, man. It's For some reason, they just, they just keep on keep on going with it, despite how bad it's getting. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Like I, I said, I'm not caught up. I'm yeah. just going off, of like, reviews I hear. And I don't have the ratings in front of me to see what they're still getting. Yeah, maybe. I know it's low. Like, in terms of, like, actual viewership, it's pretty low. Uh, but I don't know. Apparently, there's still some enjoyment to be had there because people are still sort of watching yeah. enough that they can confirm a season before the, the season before it even starts. Right. All right. Well, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you uh, are you a Walking Dead fan? I think that's the one I'm most interested in. Uh, how are you still liking the show? Also, what do you think of the Halloween behind the scenes photos? Give us your predictions in the comments below. But well, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.